Hey, this is Walter Van Dusen recording a short video about why I love using the Atomos Ninja and Shogun Ultra. The EL zone system explained, hopefully, the camera in front of me has the Shogun Ultra. Currently, I am exposed to the gray card, but now I'm going to expose for the ultra showing, hopefully, showing the EL zone system. The gray card on the Animals Shogun Ultra using the EL Zone false color with a known 18% gray card shows gray in the middle, yellow, which is a half a stop over, and green, which is a half under. If I change the F stop. I'm at five, six point three. But if I go to five six, you'll see that the yellow, and then it goes into white. So the gray in the bottom is eighteen percent gray. Yellow is a half, and white is a full stop over. If I continue, you'll now see yellow white and orange. Orange means two stops over. Now I have gray, yellow, green, which is the exposure that I want. Now I'm going to go and increase from 6.3 to F8. F8 shows green in the middle, which is a half stop under, and darker green, which is a full stop under. And gray is 18% correct exposure. If I go farther, now I'm at F9. Now we have all green and the darker green on the bottom, two stops under. It does include Atomos, false color. also includes Ari, false color. So for those that are known for the Atomos and Ari, you have those options, but I prefer EL Zone because I came from photography and everything that I exposed for is 18% gray. So this makes sense to me and to be able to do it quickly. Behind the scene, using the iPhone, I'll show, hopefully, using the FX30, I'm going to get the gray card to show correctly on the FX30 in the background by opening up the exposure. So this is, this is the FX30 in the back exposing for the gray card in front, which now shows the monitor at orange and red. Orange and red, red means four stops over, and orange means two stops over. So it's between orange, mustard, yellow, and red. Now if I want to expose for the 
Animals Shogun Ultra, I am going to, currently I'm at 6.3, ISO 800, 60th of a shutter speed. So now I'm going to expose for the monitor. which has yellow in the bottom and gray in the middle, but we're using an iPhone, so it doesn't know if it sees it or not. So that's how I exposed for the FX30 exposing for the Shogun Ultra to show behind the scenes of it with the EL zone system. The monitor is brighter than the gray card, but what I could do is increase the light output on the Amaron 300. I'm at 59%. So if I can, now I'm gonna blow out the FX3, as you can see, as you can see, hopefully, I am now increasing light output 85, 87, 90, I'm gonna go to 100. So we're now at 100%. I can get the Hopefully I can get the, so we now have the FX30 with the gray card, 18% gray card at yellow, gray, and green. And the Shogun is showing white, yellow, and green. So I'm gonna increase the F-stop on that. So now, on both cameras, we have yellow, green, uh, yellow, gray, and green, which is half stop over 18% and a half stop under is green. We have that, but still on the So I'm going to turn off this. So on the mm, so the Ninja Ultra showing that the back of the Shogun Ultra is overexposed. So I'm going to increase. Might not be able to see it, but the gray card in the Shogun Ultra on the Ninja Ultra shows yellow, gray, and green. So I feel that we have proper exposure, but we are underexposed on the background for the gray card. What I could do is bring the light closer since I'm on wheels so that brought up the exposure a little one stop over so we're going to increase so 
So as you can see from the rear camera showing the Shogun Ultra that we have yellow, gray, and green, which would be considered, in my opinion, a really good exposure. If you have any questions about the why I love the EL Zone system and I didn't answer them in this video, please let me know in the comments. But this is the main reason why I sold four of my Animals Ninja Vs to be able to get the Animals Ninja Ultra, which is kick butt. The Ninja Ultra has 1,000 nits of brightness and the Shogun Ultra has 2,000. So that's, I feel like I have a really good combination. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And the battery that's powering the Shogun, Shogun is, Shogun Ultra is the Gentry 22 amp, 14.4 battery, I believe it's 290. So that keeps power, that's powering the, I normally have that battery powering the, I'll have that battery powering the Animals Shogun Ultra and providing power to the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 for all day powering for trade show interviews, which can be up to seven to 10 hours. Hopefully this is a good explanation. And I do have a little slider, so we're gonna do a little slider action. So as we slide, you can see the gray card in the back along with the color checker video. The Shogun Ultra records 8K video, which my A7R5 can record. I haven't done that yet. And the Ninja Ultra can record 4K. So we are recording S-Log3 S log Cine Tone 3, I believe they call it, on both of the on both of the devices. So I'm gonna put this video together. I really want to show off the EL zone system and get the word out. When I went to two expos, the Build Expo and also the Cinegear Expo Atlanta, and mentioning my excitement for the EL zone system, there wasn't a lot of people that seemed to be as excited as me. We have one more thing, especially since we're talking about the new iPhone with USB-C. You can record from your iPhone via a USB-C dongle out via HDMI to your Animal Shogun or Ninja Ultra. And you can use the EL Zone system And I'm going to show, right now we are underexposed. So I'm going to increase the ISO. Which gets as the yellow, gray, and green. We are at ISO 72. I can also we are going to record the Black Magic app has time code I'm supposed to be able to sync up with the tentacle, which I have to learn how to do, but we have time code based on the time of day. Uh, the Ninja and the Shogun Ultras are time code. Uh, well, typically they're time code through the tentacle, but I have to learn how to do that for time code out. I don't see the proper time code on the Ultra. The one thing that I see 
on the Shogun is we're at 59.94 S-Log3. I believe we're supposed to be at 29.97, but for whatever reason, it's at 59.94. I am recording uh, S-Log3, SC Tone 3, just to have it. But that's just uh, on the show as an additional bonus that we can record through a dongle to the Animals Shogun Ultra. Just as a side note, we are also recording wirelessly with the iPhone going to... So we have the iPhone with USB-C out in the hallway using the Asun Cineview HE dual band, HDMI into the Shogun, and the Cineview HE through the dongle going to the iPhone in the hallway. So, and also you can use the, use the false color EO zone. So just wanted to show that. A few moments later. So we have outside of the unit where I live in the hallway, wirelessly transmitting from the iPhone via the Asun Cineview HE through the HDMI dongle into the phone to the Shogun Ultra with EL Zone. Just do a little bit of a video. So just a little side note, want to play with this. Since, the, since it has USB-C, you can use the dongle to do HDMI wireless uh, away from where you are. So I think that's sort of cool. Once again, this is Walter. If you like this type of content, uh, let me know.